listen, um, yesterday I told all the homies I was going to stay out of everybody's business. You know what I'm saying? I lied. Did he? Did he? I just seen that video. You was a bitch ass nigga. And I hope. Take that, take that. I hope if whatever happens to you, happens to you. I hope Big Freddy and Debo Eddie strap your ass down in a penitentiary Betty. And I hope don't nobody come help your motherfucking ass. Nigga, that shit. Listen, you's a bitch ass nigga, Diddy. And I, I, I told him I was going to stay my, my business, but I lied. Not only did I lie, right? I'm finna get in everybody business. For the next 48 hours, it's a blitz. I'm going to my war chest. I'm pulling every motherfucking thing out. And I got some shit. Y'all stay tuned. But Diddy, you did this shit. You know, you's a bitch ass nigga, Diddy. It's going down. It's going down. Tune in to the 100 show. We launch it next week. All independent artists, tap in with Love and R&B. Hit them motherfucking uh, Christopher Lovejoy. Hit his back channels. I'm going to put up a post for y'all probably next day or so. We launching some shit for the indie artists. But Diddy, you's a bitch ass nigga. Hey, that nigga whack 100 a fool. At least he admit that he be in everybody's business. That nigga said shit. I said I was going to mind my business, but no, I'm in everybody's business. But no, man, that video, yo... I seen that joint a few times, bro. That joint is sick, bro. Like, he was literally... He was stomping her out like she was a man. Like, they say he was drunk. He was yelling at her. Then he blacked her eye. He fell asleep. She was trying to escape. He running down the hallway with nothing but a towel on. Get her on the ground, start stomping her out. And I heard that he paid $50,000 for the footage not to be released. And that shit still came out, like... This nigga Diddy is evil, bro. It's always the ones that's trying to practice all that peace and positivity shit. Like, everybody was looking at Suge Knight back in the day as the evil one. Nah, Diddy was evil too. He was just, he'll do his shit behind the scenes and then on the camera, he all oh, peace and positive. I just want everybody to get along. I just want everything to be good. He was getting away with this stuff for like 30 years, bro. 30 years he was out here wilding, beating on women, doing shit to men and women, like. That nigga's a snake behind the scenes. And the thing that's ironic is literally the other day he posted online talking about some time would tell. Something like that. Basically trying to say at the end, everybody gonna realize he ain't do nothing wrong. He was so innocent and perfect. And then this video come up. I know he going around the house pulling his hell now. And it's crazy. He got daughters. What would he do if he found out a man was doing this to his daughters? Crazy, bro. I can only imagine what he was doing to Kim Porter. Because I heard he was abusing her. I wonder what his son got to say now. It ain't going to be no more freestyles defending him. Stevie J, what he going to say now? Shit is crazy, man. What y'all think about this, boy? Be good